Hello guys, meet again with Queen MMA. Mike Tyson has made public his plans to fight Evander Holyfield for the third time. Although, there is still some talk about the details of the much-anticipated legendary heavyweight boxer trilogy dual contract. For fans of old boxing, the match between Mike Tyson vs. Evander Holyfield has an important meaning. But for those of you who haven't been born in their golden age, there's no need to worry. Because Queen MMA will review the match between the two legendary heavyweight boxers. But before we continue, please press the subscribe button and activate the bell, so you don't miss other interesting updates. Mike Tyson is an American boxing athlete. As a professional athlete, Mike Tyson has been fighting for 36 years. Mike Tyson was born in Brooklyn, New York, USA, on June 30, 1966. In his last fight, Mike Tyson fought on November 28, 2020, against former professional heavyweight athlete Roy Jones Jr. and ended with a draw by unanimous decision. On November 22, 1986, Mike Tyson became the WBC heavyweight champion. Mike Tyson has beaten the world champion Trevor Burbick. While Evander Holyfield is an American professional boxer athlete, Evander Holyfield has been a professional athlete and has fought for 36 years. Evander Holyfield was born in Admir, Alabama, the USA on October 19, 1962. Currently, Evander Holyfield lives in Atlanta, Georgia, USA. Evander Holyfield's last fight was on 7 May 2011 against Brian Nelson. Holyfield won by technical knockout. Evander Holyfield became the WBA Cruiserweight Champion on July 12, 1986. Evander Holyfield defeated World Champion Dwight Muhammad Kawi. Evander Holyfield also suffered a defeat by TKO in the first round in an exhibition match against Viter Belfort, the former UFC MMA fighter, on September 12, 2021. Back to the fight between Evander Holyfield vs Mike Tyson which has taken place almost 25 years ago. Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield have previously met two times. But in his second meeting, it has become an unforgettable fight in the history of world boxing, especially heavyweight. 1. Mike Tyson vs Evander Holyfield 1. Mike Tyson met Evander Holyfield for the first time on November 9, 1996. At that time Mike Tyson was the holder of the WPA heavyweight belt with a record of 45 wins, 1 loss, and 39 technical knockout wins. While Holyfield has managed to record 32 wins, 3 losses, and 23 wins by TKO. Their fight at that time was for the WBA championship belt, and took place at the MGM Grand Garden Arena, Las Vegas, United States. Mike Tyson, who at that time immediately attacked and launched a punch as soon as the first round bell sounded, had made Evander Holyfield stagger. But Evander Holyfield was still able to stand firm and continue the duel, until then Holyfield was able to trouble Mike Tyson. Holyfield's hook, jab, and uppercut landed heavily in Mike Tyson's face and stomach. Until the sixth round, Holyfield was able to knock down Mike Tyson where the left uppercut released by Holyfield hit Mike Tyson's stomach and knocked him down. Evander Holyfield then became more confident, despite several warnings from the referee for ducking Mike Tyson's face with his hip. The stamina of the two boxers began to decline in the last rounds, although the duel continued to be exciting and tense. In the 10th round, Evander Holyfield's right landed on Mike Tyson's face which sent him hooked into the ring. Mike Tyson tried to defend with a double cover, as Evander Holyfield unleashed his intense combination punch at Mike Tyson. When the 11th round left 2 minutes to 23 seconds, referee Mitch Halpin decided to stop the fight, when he saw Mike Tyson could no longer take a hit from Holyfield. Evander Holyfield was declared victorious over Mike Tyson, and was entitled to the WBA heavyweight champion belt. 2. Mike Tyson vs Evander Holyfield 2. Seven months after their first meeting, June 28, 1997, Mike Tyson reunited with Evander Holyfield at the MGM Grand Arena, Las Vegas, in the fight for the WBA heavyweight world title. 
They met then for the WBA heavyweight world title, as well as to settle the score after the real deal did something surprising the previous year, when he defeated Mike Tyson. Just like their previous encounter, this time's meeting had actually surpassed expectations, though in a way, that no one thought of. Mike Tyson vs. Holyfield made nearly 2 million pay-per-view viewers with just 3 rounds of action, but ended up being an all-time memorable freak. Their fight at that time was almost the same as the previous meeting, where Holyfield was able to suppress, control, and thwart the aggression of Mike Tyson. Even their Holyfield at that time showed his technical superiority, where his physicality also frustrated Mike Tyson, when he used his head, shoulders, and arms to neutralize Mike Tyson's punches at close range. In the second round, the wound above Mike Tyson's right eye reopened for the second time due to an accidental header by Evander Holyfield. This time everyone could see the frustration in Mike Tyson's eyes as he looked at referee Mills Lane, hoping for some action from the referee that the referee failed to do before in their first meeting. But referee Mills Lane did not sanction Evander Holyfield and ruled the header was unintentional and continued the fight. At the end of the round, Evander Holyfield pushed Mike Tyson back in a clinch. The bell rang signaling the end of the round, where Mike Tyson's body language showed extreme frustration. When the round restarted, Mike Tyson's frustration culminated in fury expelling the demon inside, the Iron Man lashed out ferociously, throwing explosive left hooks and right hands. But to no avail, Evander Holyfield still standing and leading, not even swayed by Mike Tyson's short-term outburst. Everyone can see the anger and frustration felt by Mike Tyson, but no one can predict what Mike Tyson will do next. When both fighters were in a clinch position, Evander Holyfield was jumping up and down in pain and reacting uncharacteristically, which was not hard to tell, but Mike Tyson had bitten off Evander Holyfield's right ear. Referee Mills Lane at that time consulted a doctor to assess the condition of Evander Holyfield. After much deliberation, the fight was finally resumed by deducting two points to Mike Tyson. But not long after the fight resumed, Mike Tyson again bit his ear for the second time, this time he aimed the questioning tooth of Holyfield's left ear. Referee Mills Lane confirmed that the second bite actually occurred, then disqualified Mike Tyson, who was furious at the time. Mike Tyson finally had to receive a penalty from the Nevada State Athletic Commission with the loss of his boxing license, as well as a fine of 3 million US dollars, and had to wait one year to get his new license. Well, that's an unforgettable fight in the world of boxing, especially heavyweight between Mike Tyson versus Evander Holyfield. Don't forget to share your opinion in the comments column below, like and share the video. See you again in other videos. See ya.